Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the teleporting card trick. Um, for the restickable glue, which I'm using on this particular trick, I like to use this photo mount 3M restickable glue spray. When you spray this glue onto one card, it will stick to another card, but the glue does not transfer over. So it's, it's almost like the glue you find on a post-it note. So I'm using this 3M photo mount spray. So what we've got is a few gaffs and gimmicks going on. I've got a top of the box gaff and five. I've got five blank cards with holes cut through them. Right, these two, these two blanks with holes punched through them. I've used a 20, a 25 mil or 20 mil hole punch. Let me just go and get you, show you the hole punch. Two sets. This is the hole punch. You can find these on Amazon, eBay, get it from any good stationer. You'll find these somewhere on the internet. Just a, a decent hole punch. So I've got two blank cards with holes punched through them. These will sit on the top of the deck. I've then got my top of the box gaff, which will attract to the box covering these two blank cards up. Um, you then have another blank card. Now, this card here, whichever one it is, this one has a tiny bit of photo mount spray just in the middle. I don't know if you can just about see it there. I like photo mount spray. It's completely invisible compared to double stick tape. But there's only a little bit there. So these cards will stay together as one, but I can easily separate them. And then you've got another card. Now you do need to make sure that when you punch these holes, they all do line up, especially the two that are getting stuck together. This needs to look like one card. So the, the one with the glue, these two cards are going to go into your sleeve. Like that, slide them in there. So you've got your two blank cards with holes on the top of the deck covered by the top of the box gaff. The third one will go on the bottom of the deck. This will all go into the box. Right, let me just show you something crazy. This is a teleporting card trick. So you're going to take these cards out the sleeve and show them to be two blank cards. They will not notice this bit of glue here. And there's only a tiny bit of glue so you can easily separate them. We'll come back to these in a minute, making sure you remember which one's got the glue. And a deck. Pull all the cards out, making sure not to flash. You've got a card on the bottom with holes. Do the box up and put it aside. Right, spectator's got a free choice of any card, but because you've got these two blanks on the top, it's the easiest way is to dribble the cards because you can um, drop a few cards first to cover the bottom card and then dribble till they call out stop right here. The 10 of diamonds. I want you to sign the 10. I'm not going to sign this 10, but while they're signing the 10, you're going to get a little pink, little thumb break under the bottom card. You are then going to swing cut the top portion, put these two cards together Maintaining that break, so what's happening is this blank card is sat on top of the top of the box gaff. But you, you are maintaining a break, you'll turn it into a pinky break and you'll just hold the deck like this. They can't tell that you've got a great big break at the back look. So when they finish signing this card, you're going to seemingly put this somewhere in the deck. But all you're going to do is slide it above that blank card into your break and you should be in this position. Their card is going directly above that um, blank card, above the top of the box gaff. But to the spectator, you're pushing it somewhere in the middle. You're then going to push in, push down, catch that thumb break again, and then double undercut everything back to the top. So you should be in a position where this is the spectator's chosen card, followed by the blank that was on the bottom, followed by the top of the box gaff, and then the two blanks below it. You are now going to pick up these two blanks and show them you've got two blank cards. You're going to place one on top of the deck. The double stick, the restickable glue is just here. Show them this one. Place this on top of the deck. And when you're squaring everything up, just press with the knuckle of your finger. So your card is somewhere in the packet. I'm going to make your card travel through the deck to in between the two blanks. I know it's hard to believe. You can give it a little tap if you want. But all you need to do now is gently spread across the top three cards. 
you can show these um, that there is a card now between it. You can place this deck down, making sure not to flash the top bit. And then go to this piece, you can show them. You've got two cards, you've got a blank on the bottom. Now this top blank is your double, so make sure you don't flash any bits on the end. Blank card on the top and somewhere in between the two blanks, you can be quite free with these, they should have stuck together, is one card, your signed 10 of diamonds. Now, with they even mentioning anything, you're gonna drop these on the top and then pick up the box, turn the box over, or you could pick up the deck beforehand, drop these two on the top, go and pick up the box as if you're going to open up the box to, to put the cards in, slide these two off, drop them down and put these cards away. Now, if you want to examine these cards, feel free because all they will feel is two blank cards with no sticky on them because the dirty is underneath the top of the box or hidden that way. So that's how I did it guys. You're going to be in this position. Um, these will be covered with the top of the box, which is going to be like that. Oh no, those are the two dodgy ones. You'll be in this position. Their card would have ended up between the two cards. You can drop these on the top, pick up the deck, and then just casually pick up the deck, turn it over and open it up. They can examine these cards if they want. What I would say is when you're opening up this flap, make sure you just grip the bottom of the box because you don't want to open the flap and it pop off. So just grip it, place these back inside the box and you're good to go. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and that is a fantastic teleporting card trick with a cleaner. Cheers.